as a Nigerian, I've heard a lot of strange stories, which is juju, demons, even ghosts. But what happened to me on State Line Road is something I'll never forget. It was on a Friday night on my way back to my friend's house in Utah. I had planned to leave for Nigeria the next day, so I had to make some arrangements. As I drove, I noticed the road was different. It was white. It was odd, because I had been on this road a number of times, and it was never white. As I continued, I could no longer see anything else, but the white road, everything surrounding me, was pitch black. I held my breath. I said a little prayer, and I drove down the road, hoping to find something that I was used to. I came across a six-lane highway, which was new to me. I drove as fast as I could, and somehow ended up at my friend's house. She wasn't around, so I used the spare key she gave me to let myself in. I was still disturbed and could barely sleep that night. The next day, I researched what had happened to me, and the only place with answers was a mental hospital within driving distance from where I was. I arrived at the hospital, but I was not given access to any of the patients, but an orderly offered to answer the questions that I had. I asked about patients who had parallel dimensional delusions. She immediately gave me an earful of cases in this hospital. As she went on, one story caught my attention. She said something about a man who appeared at an airport, claiming to be from an unknown country, called Nigeria. I was shocked, speechless. I reached for my phone and refreshed the GPS map of the world, and I couldn't find Nigeria. As I was leaving, she told me that some of the patients tried frantically to complete a text before a specific date that the timepiece was stuck on which was always three days. When I left the hospital, I checked my watch and discovered it was stuck on a date two days from now, which means I was already on the first day, and on the third, I would end up like one of those patients in the hospital. I knew instantly if I didn't find the white road within three days, I would be stuck in this strange dimension. I got to my car and drove as fast as I could. I was scared. I didn't understand anything that was happening. I just wanted to go back to a world that had Nigeria in it. As I drove, suddenly it was night. I saw the white road again. As I continued down the road, I saw a car ahead of me, which looked like mine. As I got closer, I noticed the car was exactly mine. And then I wondered whose car I had been driving. I looked around, and I saw a little girl whose eyes were as black as night. She stretched forth her hand, and when she touched me, everything went black. I woke up in my friend's room. I have been here ever since. Too scared to go outside. Too scared to look at my watch. I heard a light knock on the door. I assumed it was my friend. But when I opened the door, I saw it was the orderly that I had met in the hospital. She raised her head, looked at me, and smiled, and then said, You don't belong here. I was surprised. She raised my phone that I had forgotten in the hospital, and it was stuck on a date just one day from today. She grabbed my hand and said, don't worry, I'll help you, but we have to hurry. As we ran, I felt an unpleasant sensation around me, as if this world was crushing me. And I knew I had only till the third day before I lose my sanity to this world.